So I was talking to a friend of mine who has a travel tourism business and he was saying, Steph, it's so hard for, for me to find a competent web designer, not a developer, a web designer who can put together a simple one page website that actually is good. So what is a good one page website? That's the question. So when you're talking about a one page website, we're talking about a branding page, right? It could be two pages, three pages, whatever. And the significance of that is that this type of site is actually hard to build, not in a technical coding sense. The coding is actually trivial. It's actually in, well, three things. The UI, the UX, and we'll say the psychological marketability of the messaging on the site. The psychological marketability of the messaging on the site. This is rare to find somebody who has two of these skills, let alone three. So UI, user interface, that's the, the prettiness, the aesthetics of it, how good it looks when you come to the site. Does it, does it look good? Does it look pretty? Does it look pro? Number two, UX is how easy the site is to navigate. It does it make sense where things should be. That UX skill, that, those people are rare, by the way. Those people are rare because you have to have a a logical understanding of, of, of how to lay, position things on a page. It's a subtle skill set. has to do with alignment of things, a nomenclature, a color even, images, etc., consistency across the site. So a simple example is the use of breadcrumbs across the top or the bottom of the site, hierarchical breadcrumbs, which tells the user where they are in the site. Uh, look at Amazon. They do a very good job at that. But there's a third thing, and that is the, the marketing or the psychological aspect of it, in that the information presented on the site is able to convey the message to the visitor of the site in an effective manner. That has a lot more to do with psychological engineering, if you will. That is the uh, test of a truly professional modern web designer in 2024. This is related to that last aspect, that marketing psychology. That is related to, to a certain extent, to SEO, traditional SEO. It's adjacent to it. Anyway, it's an interesting thing to consider because uh, I think there's a lot of opportunity there. So why is there a lot of opportunity in this new type of web designer? or the specialist? Well, because number one, there's a ton of people out there who are starting small businesses, who have small businesses or medium-sized businesses or even big business. There's tons of them. There's tons of people who are learning raw code, but they don't understand those other elements. I talked about those three crucial elements. The vast majority of of work out there is for small and medium-sized business, not for large corporations. When you look at the typical uh, course boot camp or a college degree, the concentration, the focus is getting a job working for a corporation, a big corporation. When, in fact, again, 80% of jobs are generated by small business. And a lot of small business, like my friend uh, who has the travel tourism business, he needs to get this thing done, but he can't find anybody. It's a frustration he's been dealing with for a while. And I can tell you from my own experience in the industry for decades now, it's very hard to find these people, especially when you add, in, you add on that third component, the, uh, the, the psychological uh, marketing, if you will, that is integrated within the content structure and the content itself. So let me give you, let me give you an example. The messaging for the site, the main headline text, for example, what is that going to be? Right? A lot of small business owners, they don't have this kind of training. They're not exactly sure. So if you're like an elite web designer, you would have this skill set as well. You would be able to say, okay, what's your business? Okay, who are you trying to appeal to? What's your main uh, product? What differentiates your product from other people? What are you trying to convey? Why would they want to buy from you? my client who wants me to build this website, what are they looking to, what do you, why would they buy from you? What do you have to offer? So you could provide that level of uh, consultation that very few people can provide. So you can do all those three, 
UI, UX, so how pretty it is, how organized the information is, and, and the structure of the information itself, so that it's psychologically um, compliant or competent or uh, directed. And then maybe you could add on, you know, extra modules like uh, the basics of web marketing, you know, their social plan, how to execute on their social. social. Now there's whole business of social media, but I'm not talking about being a grunt where you're actually executing on the social plan, but just basics, just setting it up, you know, like if they're a restaurant, being on Twitter is not going to be useful for them. I'm pretty sure about that. But if, uh, if they're a restaurant, Instagram would be a good choice for them because you can show photos of the food and the restaurant and you can tag it in Instagram. So that'd be a good strategy. YouTube, eh, it's probably an Instagram thing, maybe a TikTok thing. That's just one example of a set of uh, expertise and what you can provide to a prospective client. And guess what? My friend who has a travel service business, he's willing to pay big money. He's paid just to revamp one of those sites, just to revamp a WordPress site. Nothing complex, no functionality. It was just a nice, well-executed branding site. And he paid, it cost him 20 grand, you know? And it wasn't this huge thing. It was just, everything was designed, architected according to the basic uh, principles that I'm laying out here in this video. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. My name is Steph. I am Uncle Steph in some, uh, some people call me Uncle Steph. There you go. I have a mentoring program. It's not a boot camp because boot camps are not well designed for education. It's a bad educational model, boot camps. Mm, really bad. So I have a unique program, the mentoring program, which uh, is very much... Uh, uh, it respects proper educational practices and best practices. I'm Uncle Steph at UncleSteph.com. I run a mentoring program, which is not a boot camp. It's actually very different from a boot camp, but it gives you a much better result than a boot camp because it's actually aligns with proper educational standards. And it's also based on my decades of experience as a professional developer. Uh, this whole thing that I just talked about in this video in terms of the, fr the freelance and the web marketing and so on, I'm adding more modules into the program to address that, along with AI for 2024. All right, we'll talk soon. Cheers.